Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. In today's number talk, we are looking at the fraction 13 24 trying to decide if it's closer to 0, 1 half, or 1. So how can we think about this? Well, let's think about this denominator, 24. So what if I were to rewrite each of these fractions as 24ths? Okay, and it's actually pretty simple, right? The 0 24ths is going to equal 0. So we call it just the whole number 0, but 0 over any fraction, 0 eighths, 0 tenths, 0 thirds, 0 24ths, it's all equal to 0. And then this one whole means I have all the pieces of that fraction. Remember, that fraction is split up into 24 parts. So all of the 24 parts would equal 1 because one whole is equal to any fraction that has the same numerator and denominator, whether it be 4 fourths, 5 fifths, 10 tenths, 100 one hundredths, or 24 20 fourths. So halfway in between those two is going to be 1 half. Now, how can I rewrite 13 20 fourths and kind of put it close to one of these three? Well, the missing piece here is going to be that 1 half. So let's think about what is half of my denominator. Half of 24 is 12, so that is an equivalent fraction. So now I've rewritten all of these fractions in 24ths. And now this 13 24ths is what I'm really going to focus on, and that seems like it's going to be pretty clear. This 13 is just one more than 24. So if I wanted to rewrite it, I'd probably rewrite it right there, 13 20 fourths. And so if I were to ask which one is this closest to, 13 24 is almost 12 24, which means it's closer to one half.